My daughter called me, Charlene, she's here. And she told me, I must go to the funeral of General Ogona. And I want to speak. I told her, Charlene, first, there is no way you are going, and there is no way you are going to speak anywhere. <laughs> so, but as fate would have it, she found her way here. <laughs> and before I could notice, she was on the microphone. <laughs> that is how General Ogola was influential. Again, let me say this. I had asked my wife that since we were yesterday in uh, at uh, in Langata, maybe today she can do something else because she too insisted that I must be at the funeral of General Ogola to stand by Eileen because they were a great people to our nation. That is the kind of influence General Ogola had on people, not necessarily people they work with every day, but people who knew what he did for our country. Many people may say many things because they don't understand. what those of us who have worked closely with General Ogola understand about the potential that he would do for our country. I am very sure the generals here know that they have so lost a solid man. And I wish we could all spare him and give him a decent send-off. He deserves it. So, to the family, Mama, as I have told you, to Joel and uh, Lona, as I told you, all of us,